Hey y'all, Justin here with Duck Lope Outdoors. The saddest part of the season, season end, but that brings new hope for next season. So we gotta start getting ready. So Chris and I are gonna do an experiment, experiment excuse me, on if it is cheaper to buy Zilla decoys or to make them. He's gonna make them out of old yard signs. I'm gonna make them out of Luan, which is essentially really thin plywood. So it's gonna be tough, but it's also gonna be light. So I'm gonna flip this camera around shortly and show you how many decoys I can get off of one sheet that I think is actually cut of Luan. So this is a Luan board. And if you look there, I don't know if y'all can tell because of the sun, but I have 13 silo decoys on here, both greater and lessers. So here's number one of 12 that I've been doing for the yard sign silhouette. As you see, I spray painted the uh, the silver. See how that one's silver? That one's black, so that blends in a lot better. So of course you want to spray paint that. And I probably put about two coats of black on this one particular yard sign. And as you see, there's no shine to it because it's all matte paint. Um, and I put a light sanding on the actual yard sign so that way it holds the paint. Um, the other ones that I'm about to show you, there's some run on it, but that's all right because you, you follow up with the more coats, with lighter coats, it's just going to cover it up. And what you could do is just slap a little bit of uh, using uh, sandpaper and that it take down that run that run look. But once it dries, um, you really won't see the, see the run anyway. And besides, it don't need to be perfect because it's not like they're going to be getting that close to the yard sign anyway because hopefully you'd be shooting at them. But um, that's a whole dozen of them. And it probably took me about 20 minutes to paint. So, but uh, what I'll do is I'll follow up with the next clip. It'd be either me or Justin, and uh, we'll be working on the next step. All right, everyone. I went ahead and finished up one of the duck decoys that I'm doing with the yard signs. So this bad boy is all painted up. Uh, one thing I learned about painting yard signs is that you have to do multiple coats. I would suggest cutting it out first before you paint it, uh, so that way you save some paint. And also, when you go to cut it and it's already painted, uh, the chances of scraping it is pretty good. Like if you're using scissors or something like that, uh, being a old, you know, uh, redneck like myself trying to save some money. Um, using a pair of scissors, you know, of course, it's going to get a little bit choppy on you. Um, so I would suggest just cutting it out of the yard sign and then painting. Um, so this is going to do it for part one of us making decoys. Uh, part two, we're going to start with, um, Justin's going to finish up the Luan, uh, geese decoys. So that way y'all can see some of the progress being done on that. And I am going to work on like a floating PVC type of, uh, thing to where I can hook the actual sea duck decoys on top of it and also using it in the water and then also I can use it in a field as well so I can use it in multiple multiple different places um, my decoys are black at the moment what I'm gonna do as well is I'm probably gonna throw some white on it just to give it some contrast and um, so that way I feel like if it's in the field or in the water uh, being up here in Maryland off the Susquehanna Flats there's, you know, there's tons of sea ducks. There's also mallards and that sort of thing. Um, so I can use it up here. And then being mostly black and with a little bit of white, I'm going to mix it in with uh, goose decoys. So maybe I would fool them, fool them as well. Just something else to try just to mix it in with the decoy, with the other geese decoys. Um, so that way it makes it spread a little bit bigger. Um, but it's just an idea. We're going to try it. Um, I figure I got a whole bunch of yard signs, so um, we're just going to chop it up and see what happens. But be on the lookout for part two. Uh, I'm going to continue posting this all over Facebook, Instagram, and, um, and of course, you know, keep making YouTube videos. Um, but be sure to like and comment um, and also subscribe. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm just trying to, you know, we're just trying to grow this channel. And um, if you haven't checked out our Instagram or our Facebook, just search uh, Duck Lip Outdoors and keep track of it. Y'all have fun.